Welcome to the intermediate series of tutorials for Vivian. These tutorials assume that you have watched the basic series and are familiar and comfortable with the fundamentals of using the software. In this first tutorial, we will explore Vivian's basic lighting features. In part one, you will learn how to use the truss wizard effectively, while in part two, you will learn how to select and hang fixtures, how to create fixture groups, and how to use the light tool to create lighting looks. To start, I will open the last file that we worked on in the basic series to which I've added a few new elements, such as the bride and groom, the band, the DJ, and a few new people on the dance floor, all in order to make the event more complete. The truss wizard is used to create hang structures, which are required in order to make event drawings more realistic. Since in real life fixtures do not float in the air, they may be placed on the ground for uplighting purposes. But even so, many fixtures cannot stand on their own and require a floor base. Event venues will obviously have house lights installed, but these do not hang from hang structures, nor are they typically added to Vivian files, since they are not used to light the event. All this considered, hanging fixtures from pipes or truss created with the truss wizard is highly recommended for every event that you work on. To activate the truss wizard, click the Draw menu and select Truss Wizard. The first of the many options that appear in the window that opens allows us to choose how to create the hang structure by specifying or by drawing it. The Specify option is preferred in most cases, but the Draw option can be useful when the hang structure's length is not known, when it needs to be drawn by using snaps, or for various other purposes. The Units area is used to specify whether the hang structure is drawn in metric or imperial units. While the Fixture Direction option defines which way fixtures will hang from the hang structure, the Shape options define whether the hang structure is going to be linear or circular. The Type options define the kind of hang structure that will be created, and the Orientation options define how it is going to be inserted and at what height. We will look at all these options in more detail and create various hang structures in a moment. But before we do that, let's cancel the Truss Wizard and add a new layer to our file, which will contain our hang structures. The truss wizard may also be accessed by clicking its button on the draw toolbar. The first kind of hang structure that we are going to create is a pipe. So let's select this option in the type area. The length of our pipe is 16 feet, which we can enter because the specify creation option is selected. And we will insert it horizontally at a height of 30 feet. It is important to note that the height defined in the truss wizard will override the height set by pressing tab, which is currently 5 feet, as we can see on the status bar. Click OK. The pipe is now attached to the cursor, and I can click to place it above the tables on the left side of the venue. Much like any other object in Vivian, hang structures may be copied and pasted, which is faster than going through the truss wizard, so when multiple hang structures of the exact same type and length need to be inserted, this is preferred. Please keep in mind, however, that just like when pasting other objects, hang structures are pasted at the height defined in the file. Therefore, if I were to select the pipe I just inserted, copy it, paste it, and click, the new pipe would be inserted at 5 feet, which is incorrect. As such, with the pipe still on the cursor, I will first set the height to 30 feet, and then click to insert the pipe. I am now pasting an additional pipe above these two tables, and another here. If I now switch to a front view, I can see that all my pipes have been inserted at the correct height. The next hang structure we require is a ring pipe, above the lounge area of our venue, also 30 feet up. After starting the truss wizard, select pipe once more, the circular shape option and full circle from the dropdown. Set the radius to 8 feet. Leave the trim height at 30 feet. Click OK and then click to place it. A 40 foot line of 12 inch box truss whose midpoint lines up with the center of the stage, is required above the first tier of the stage. At a trim height of 24 feet. To place it, type 0 for the X coordinate in order for the midpoint of the truss to line up with the center of the venue, a comma, and 16 feet for the coordinate. Hit Enter and the truss is inserted. A Z coordinate is not required because the height at which to place the truss was defined by the trim height set in the truss wizard. Next, we need to place a racetrack-shaped triangle truss above the dance floor. 
Since this shape is not available from the truss wizard, creating this hang structure will require the combination of straight and circular pieces. Start by creating a 24 foot long and 16 inch wide piece of triangle up truss at a trim height of 24 feet. This is the upper side of the racetrack shape, which we will place at 0 feet on the x-axis and at 4 feet on the y-axis. Again, the z-coordinate does not need to be specified because this is defined by the trim height. To create the lower side of the racetrack, we will copy this truss 12 feet down on the y-axis using the relative copy method. Select the truss, copy it, paste it, type at 0, comma, minus 12 feet, comma, 0, and then press Enter. In order to avoid the unnecessary calculations required in order to specify the curved part of the racetrack shape, we will use the Truss Wizard's Draw option to create it. To help us in this process, before we activate the Truss Wizard, we will draw a simple line that joins the left ends of the straight truss sections by using Endpoint Snap. This line will be used as a drawing aid. Once the line is drawn, start the truss wizard once more and set the necessary options. Select the draw option, set the shape to circular half circle, and the type to triangle up with a 16 inch width in order to match the straight sections. Click OK. Vivian now prompts to define the center of this circular truss, so activate midpoint snap and click the middle of the line you just drew. Next, click the upper left corner of the upper straight section in order to set the half circle's radius and orientation. As soon as you click, the piece is inserted. To create the final piece of the racetrack, simply mirror the half circle you just created. We can now delete the line that we drew because we no longer have need for it. Finally, in order to make this truss easier to move, we will select its four components and group them. Next, we will create a 12-foot tall vertical 12-inch box truss and place it by hand on the floor near the upper left-hand corner of the stage. Activate the truss wizard. Set length to 12 feet, the orientation to vertical, and height to 0 feet since the truss will sit on the floor. Click OK and then click to place the truss just in front of the stairs on the left. Finally, we need to place a floor base inside the vertical truss that we just created, which is required because the fixture that we will use as a truss warmer cannot sit on the floor on its own. Click the truss wizard one last time, select the floor base type, set the trim height to zero because it needs to sit on the floor, and click OK. Zoom in and then place it. This concludes the drawing of the hang structures required for this event. We did not insert any hang structures on the right side of the venue because we will use Vivian's mirror feature to add them there. However, we will only do this after we hang fixtures from them in order to avoid having to hang fixtures twice. In part two of this tutorial, things will get more exciting as we tackle fixtures and their use. Don't forget to save your file and thank you for watching.